Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about one of the Italy's most historic and greatest red wines, Chianti Classico. Situated in beautiful Tuscany between cities Florence and Siena, Chianti Classico is indeed believed to be amongst one of the oldest winemaking regions dating back to the beginning of 18th century. In the 20th century, Chianti wine became so popular that 7,200 hectares of vineyards was not enough to meet the demand and the area was enlarged, thus forming what we now know as Chianti and its subzones. Next to that, an increased number of wine labeled like Chianti appeared and some of it was not even produced in Italy, let alone Tuscany. Because of that, producers from the original or historic Chianti area formed what is now known as Consorzio Vino Chianti Classico. Thus, borders of Chianti Classico were set, which most closely correspond with those of historic Chianti region. And you guessed it right, their symbol was chosen to be Black Rooster, which you will find on every bottle of Chianti Classico. Historically, Chianti has always been based on Sangiovese grape variety. Sangiovese is considered to be one of the noblest Italian red grapes. It offers great aging potential, flavor complexity and depth. Yet, for a very long time, Chianti Classico could not be made from Sangiovese only. Since 1996, Chianti Classico can be made from 100% Sangiovese. If, however, it is blended with other grapes, Sangiovese must consist minimum of 80%. As a grape, it cannot develop deep black color, therefore historically it was often blended with grape named Colorino. As the name suggests, it was added to increase color intensity. Other indigenous grapes may also be used, such as Malvasia Llanera, Canaiolo and Pugnitello, amongst others. It is also allowed to add international grape varieties, such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Syrah. Yet, it is often harshly criticized by fans of Sangiovese, saying that this delicate grape variety can be easily overpowered by even the smallest additions of Cabernet and Merlot, thus it loses the typicity and expression of Terroir. Chianti Classico is one of the oldest delimited winemaking regions, but is also surely one of the most dynamic ones. It has developed and changed quite a bit over the years, and now we see even the quality hierarchy with Chianti Classico, Chianti Classico Riserva, and Chianti Classico Gran Selezione at the top. I really don't want to call Chianti Classico an entry level, so let's say introductory style of Chianti Classico must be aged minimum of 12 months. The Reserva must be aged at least 24 months, of which 3 months must be as a refinement in the bottle before the wine is released. Lastly, Chianti Classico Gran Selezione will be aged minimum of 30 months and must be made from a state-owned and the best vineyards. As I mentioned before, Sangiovese is most important grape for all Chianti Classico wines, so do not expect them to be deep, inky colored, yet some wines that are blended with other grapes might be. The aromas should show fresh sour cherries, red currant and range of pink and blue flowers, while aging in the oak might add sweet spices and cedar wood. Sangiovese ages gracefully, developing more complex flavors with earthy, forest floor and balsamic hints. On the palate, wine should be well structured with high mouth-watering acidity and elevated levels of firm tannins. Because of the wine's great acidity, it is very versatile when it comes to food pairing. Anything fast food and fatty, Chianti Classico will be perfect with it. But it also will pair nicely with more traditional dishes, such as pasta with red sauce and meatballs. For Chianti Classico Riserva, think of wild boar, which is very traditional in Tuscany, as well as spicy sausage stews with wild mushrooms. However, you can pair that big flavored aged T-bone steak with your Chianti Classico Gran Selezione and you will not be disappointed. 
There are many producers in the area and I cannot name them all. The best by many are considered to be Isole e Olena, Querciabella, Castello di Ama, Fontodi and Il Caggio. I also really enjoy Mattei and their Castello de Fonterutoli, San Felice and wines from historic estate previously owned by Leonardo da Vinci, Nitardi. I surely have missed some great Chianti Classico producers, so let me know in the comments which ones you enjoy. Chianti Classico is not the only great wine made from Sangiovese grape variety. You might also want to explore Brunello di Montalcino.